Hey, good morning. Welcome back again to the book of Philippians. We're going to look at verses 22 through 24 in chapter 1, and we're carrying on the thought from yesterday morning. But if I live on in the flesh, this will mean fruit for my labor. Yet what I shall choose I cannot tell. For I am hard-pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to remain in the flesh is more needful for you. Paul says he's hard-pressed between between that potential that he would die serving the Lord Jesus or that he would live on serving the Lord Jesus. And if we die serving him, we will rest in the assurance until the time of resurrection that he will bring us, he'll bring us through at that time. It'll be fine. I want us to notice verse 24. He says that although he would prefer to be with Jesus now, and when you die, you know, the next thing you experience is, is you're, you're unconscious for all that time. The next thing you experience will be the resurrection, the day of resurrection. So basically, it's like when we die, when we're resurrected, it's immediately like we're with Christ at that time, which is a joyful thought, isn't it? But he says, verse 24, it is better, it is needful to remain in the flesh. That's what the church needed. And so sometimes we may need to live longer. I've talked to some people who said, oh, pastor, I feel old and, and crumpled. I, I almost, I don't know why I'm alive. Maybe I, I just kind of wish I would die. I've actually had people say things like that. Some people get old and they, they, we lose our sense of mission. We don't understand that God still has a purpose for us. God may need you, want you to be around to help his help people hear about Jesus. So if you're around and you're 70, 80, 90, 100 years old, don't feel like, you know, you've got nothing going on. Make sure you find a way to talk to other people, be with other people, tell them about what Jesus is doing in your life for you right now. Well, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, you have a mission for us. As long as you keep us alive here, you have a plan. You want us to speak the word. You want us to turn hearts toward Jesus, and you'll use us for that at any age level, Lord, wherever we are, whatever situation we have. Use us, we pray. Help us to be bold. Paul was in prison, and that sure didn't stop him. Lord, very few of us that hear this today are probably in prison. May we use our freedom even more decidedly for the gospel. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray and praise you. Amen. May God be our helper today to share the good news about our Savior, Jesus Christ.